Okay. I have my eyelets here. Two of them. It's about four and a half inches. And I'd like to try and do it. Inside of the, if it works, <laughs> where is my pencil? Four and a half. That's going to be roughly about there. Thing on the back. Four and a half inches. Do it at about take I just don't want to cut the stitching so that's right about how does that seem off probably because that's not 100% even maybe I like where this is at so let's do it this way if I do it in camera <laughs> I really apologize sorry about that so I'm going to bring this well I'm going to try and do this right there and I'm just going to roll it over there Oh, yeah, that looks that right. You know what? It's not about rocket science, honestly, people. It's more about, does it kind of sort of look okay? Yeah, because I don't want this to look perfect. I just want it to look pretty. All right, so I have my one, two eyelets here. I have my um, sorry silk ribbon right here as well. Now, I have this Mamba Jamba. This is by We Are Memory Keepers. It is a crocodile. It's not the big one, it's the little one. The big one's really heavy. All right, so I want the big one there. Open this up. Find my take my hole I'm going to try and bring you in so you can kind of see what I'm doing okay you see I'm going to take this right there can you see that yeah that's kind of centered right in the middle of the hole oh there it is Oh. And I'm going to punch. So I always need to use my pokey tool to get it out because, you know, it is fabric. Now going to take my eyelet that through I'm 
Okay. I'm going to come through here. Stay on there. Go right there like that. And then I'm gonna give it a good squeeze. And here we go. All set. Ready to go. And I do have that very close to the edge. But that's also because I'm gonna have ribbon going over it and I want to try and make it as Um, enough room as possible so you can see the beautiful ribbon. Do that right up here again. It's the hole. There. The dot. There it is. See? And the other eyelet. Did it go? Now you can see this desk is, you know, full of things. <laughs> Just like, where did it go? Oh, for crying in a bucket. I showed you. See, look, I have two. Oh, criminy. You know, only I would lose something that I'm like, don't lose this. Wow. But in here, is that in my book? Well, I'm going to pause you while I look for that stupid eyelet. I'll be right back. Found it. Let's not lose it again, shall we? <laughs> on the floor. Of course it was on the floor. Because that's where all things go, right? All things go to the floor. <laughs> I'm going to pop this through. Same thing. Squeeze it nice and tight. There we go. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. Okay, so then to take to take my pokey tool.
I want it to go. No, you know what? I want it to go the other way, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Because I'm going to be putting ribbon on the outside, I want this part of it, I want this not part to be on the inside. I can move you back out a little bit. I don't know why I have you in so close again. Right about there. Does that work for you? Good. Works for me. <laughs> So now the knot for this will be on this side as opposed to this side because this is going to get covered up. Now let's do the other side. Yeah, the, I always get this mixed up. I just did it and I can't remember. I think this was the way I did it. Oh, other way. How many of you were screaming, McGrath, the other way, the other way? We'll do it the other way. I hope you're all staying nice and warm. Just got off the phone with my mother. <laughs> Proceeded to let me know that it was a balmy 86 degrees down in Florida. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Just what I wanted to hear. Oh, yeah, this will look nice. So now it may look like this at the mo for the moment, but I don't have all the ephemera in it. By the time I'm done putting all the ephemera in it, it's going to look something like this. Big, fat, chunky monkey. <laughs> don't get too, like, you know, holy cow, there's nothing to it. You know what, I do think I want to have this tied for when I put the ribbon on it so that it's out of the way. How's that? Yep, just like that. So let's get that started, shall we? Oh, but wait. Oh, but having second thoughts. I think I want it flat. Oh, so, make it flat. First thing I'd like to do though is trim off that out of the way.
Oh. I really don't see a right way or a wrong way. Yes. So. Yes, this is going to go all the way around. To end it, let me see. I am going to put this down with Fabri-Tac. Like that. Right at the top. My glue, there you go. Now, come on, don't get all gooey on me. As I was saying, I was just on the phone with my mother, and it's a balmy 86 degrees down there. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> this is what I wanted to hear. I left for work this morning. The feel like temperature, I think, was four. <laughs> it's in four degrees. Yep, yep. I think it was in the 20s or something like that. But yeah, by the time I. By the time I uh, got out of bed. All right, I'm sorry, I got out of bed. By the time I was able to. Uh, Get off to work. It was very, very cold. So, needless to say, Students did not have outdoor recess today. Which actually, I get it. But you know, it's just not worth um, kids getting oh, um, it. I know you want to let them run around, but the gym is not always available. Give me this for Christmas one year. It's like a baking kit. 
I don't bake. <laughs> I don't bake, but thanks, Rhonda. Right. <laughs> She got me like this beautiful trivet that she had made. Then, um, there's this Betty Crocker thing on it, and uh, intention was well meant. You see that? Good. I'm just going to go all the way around. It also doesn't hurt to get some of that fabric tech. On uh, where you sewed, doesn't hurt one bit. Where'd that thing go? <laughs> There, that looks pretty good, huh? Oh, but wait, I'm not done. There's more to come. It might need a little bit more right about here. Down, pat, pat, pat. We snip right here. Snip, snip, snip. Okay, I will be back in a second. I'm going to finish putting all the glue on here. I'll be back. All righty. I have all of the trim on here, and I'm just... Finishing up with these metal corners that always add such a, um, they just add a really beautiful touch. I thought it looked better underneath, you know, um, next to the ribbon, as opposed to on top of it. There we go. See if I can um, bring this in a little bit more so you can see it better without getting glue all over my mouse. Yes, I'm one of those people that still uses a mouse. I know this may look blurry right here, but it's actually the fabric. Oh, pick it up gently. There we go. Yeah, gorgeous. All right, well, I think I'm going to let this lay flat to dry overnight. 
I am going to look for a wipe here. Mm -hmm. sure. And I think I'm going to um, work on some of the ephemera going in. And if I get a chance tonight, I may I may do some um, stenciling of the pages inside. We'll see. We'll see how much energy I have left to spend a long school day. <laughs> I'll pull this back out. There we go. All right, well, all this baby has to do is dry a little bit uh, before I can set it on its side um, over on my table. So in the meantime, have a really great night. Be kind to yourselves. And most of all, nice. It's really not that difficult. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.